G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Back on the Bedwoman track and heading to Canning Shelter. Let's go and have a look. Ah, made it to Canning Shelter. Not a bad walk, a little bit of incline decline to get here from Brockton Highway, but nice walk, nice shelter. So we'll turn the camera around and we'll start where I'm standing and we'll show you around the Canning Shelter. And the first thing you come to is the fire pit. And on the logs here, you'll see they've added boards so it's going to be a little bit more comfortable sitting around the fire at night. Fire season, or should I say fire ban season, is from the end of December until the end of March. Um, we're still in March at the moment, so no fire is allowed here for a couple more weeks at least. But they can extend that ban a bit longer depending on the weather. And next to the fire pit, we have a picnic bench. You can just sit around and chat. Going into the shelter, you notice over on the right hand side there we have two water tanks. Uh, take a step up in, and we've got the extra large picnic bench inside. So you can all gather around, have a chin wag, cook your meals out, prep all your gear. The normal rake hanging up this outside boom on that side so you help keep the place clean and tidy be respectful of others and uh, when you leave make sure it's cleaner than you found it you see the benches we've got two one on either side and we've got platform across the bottom and these are your sleeping areas and they reckon this shelter will sleep between 12 and 15 people comfortably yeah, I think when you get to 15 it's going to be a bit uh, cosy, so as long as you don't mind being close, that's all good. Picnic, not picnic, I'll keep doing that. Camp pictures, here's the sign. So let's follow the track up and see what the camp pictures are like. When I say one, I mean one tent, and that's the average two-person hiking tent in size so I can't or well, I won't be saying one person or two person I'll just use that as a general rule now this first pitch we've come to it's on a bit of a slope going down that way nothing too serious slightly bumpy but all in all you could probably fit two comfortable on here two tents that is and if you've got a nice comfortable sleep mat these bumps will be no problem and we've got one right next to it now this one if you do it right you could probably fit three tents on this one again it's similar to the other one a few bumpy bits slight uh, slope on it but very slight not as much as that one over there and like I said with a good mat you'll be comfortable and the general rule well, the best thing that I'd recommend is if you've got your tent, use a footprint or a ground sheet, whatever you want to call it, to protect the bottom of your tent to allow it to last longer and make your life out hiking and camping a lot easier. Next one here. This is nice and level. We've got all the bits of gravel and stones on there. But I think if you brought the rake over and gave it, uh, gave it a rake, That'd be a fairly nice one. That a squeeze, you could probably fit two on there or one tent comfortably. But yeah, not too bad that one. And there's a tiny one next to it, I say tiny. One bit, uh, big enough for a single tent here. Ground again, not perfectly flat, but fairly decent. 
And then the track goes this way a little bit. Let's follow that. Let's see if there's any more here. Like, well, what we are walking towards is the dunny. side of the shelter first, see if there's any tent pictures before we show you the dunny. Uh, the trail goes this way. Let's kind of have a look. I remember the first time I came here, there was a school group and every single tent pitch and space was taken not to go and on the track for my tent. Here we go, we've got one here. Another tent pitch. You probably have to give it a rake, the same as the other one over there. A fairly decent size, you probably squeeze two tents on here. That tree is still okay at the moment, still alive. So as making this video, there's a chance of deadfall is slim. The track goes in up here, let's have a look. There's another one here. That's comfortably big enough for one tent. Slight slope, but fairly level and even. Nice view from where we are. Slightly away from the shelter, which is a good thing at the same time. The next one is next to it. Again, same as the other one. Get the rake, get some of these bigger stones out of the way, and you'll be okay on this one. Fairly decent, as in level. Very slight slope on it. But all good. And over here, I think this side is all the older ones. Uh, they're not looking as good as the new ones. But again, we've got another one here. Probably fit two or even three tents along this one. Let's get rid of the bigger stones and the honky nuts and mind yourself on that rock. And this will be a pretty decent one. I can see some more so let's go back around this way and follow the trek. come to another one here. This one's a bit of a bowl shape to it so wet weather personally I wouldn't use this one but in the dry weather it's not too bad. It may be fairly comfortable and behind the log the track goes that way we'll look at that one first. And then it's fairly nice one this is. Now I like this one, this is my preferred one out of all of them so far. Probably the furthest away from the shelter. Really nice around scenery. And if you are close to a couple more tent pitches over there and there, which we're going to look at in a moment, this is a fairly nice one. Let me fit one on here comfortably. There's a rock in you know, at the ground there. Normal thing I look for is hammock hanging. Mm, I haven't seen anything that's really suitable on the tent pitches. And the other side of the log from the one with the bowl, you could use this as a tent pitch. It looks like it's one of the older ones. Slight slope down towards about that point and it levels off again. So you could squeeze one in there. I don't say I wouldn't say comfortably, but you could squeeze one. Or even where I'm walking now. <laughs> you could fit a tent here or even two. Uh, 
And then the trail goes this way again. Let's have a look. It's another one I can see. Maybe another two tent pitches to my right as I'm walking up here. And this is at the top. Now we've got the roots coming up here and some boulders coming through, some rocks. So you'd really only fit one on here. Just the one comfortably. There's nothing up there that's meant to be. There's your view from this one. Okay, I've look at the other two I saw. Now we'll just skip to this one first. Now this is the nicest one, as in size and uh, levelness, but you're right next to the dunny there. So if you don't mind that, this will be a pretty decent one for you, but the odd wrong direction of the wind, it wouldn't be very pleasant. Now I walked over this one. This one here is big enough for one level a few stones just give it a rake and it'll be pretty good let's walk up and have a look if there's any more no not anymore that's it i mentioned the dunny a couple of times the dunny is the outdoor toilet known as a drop toilet now there's no plumbing here, so there's no actual running water to the toilet or anywhere on the shelter, to, at the shelter, yeah. All the water you get in the water tanks are rain water which comes off the roof. And the toilet is actually a composting toilet. So no putting chemicals because that will destroy the compost and end up with flies and maggots. No putting any sanitary towels or anything like that, ladies, you have to carry them out because that will destroy the composting and no baby wipes or wet wipes because that will also destroy the composting and it won't smell very nice and like I said it will be full of maggots and flies and this is your toilet now don't guarantee you have toilet roll this one's got two hanging and two spare at the top. But always remember to carry your own just in case. And if there's no one else here, that's your loo with a view. Close this door. Oh, and with the toilet, always remember to put the lid down. One, to help stop the smells, and two, to help stop any animals falling down there. They got a nice little track. Taking you back down to the shelter. And that's the canning shelter. It's not a bad little campsite, is it? Oh, one thing I didn't mention is, I don't know if you notice the plastic containers in the shelter. These are the trail log books in here. So, see it's the trail log book, what you'll do, you fill it in with your name, age, where you started, where you're finishing, the approximate length of your trip. And that's just in case anything happens. Uh, they'll check the books in each of the shelters. And if you're heading one way and you haven't checked into the next one, they'll know if anything's happened to you, you'll be back towards this one, for example. So always remember to sign in your log books. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all and click the thumbs up the like button. And if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. So until next time get out there have some fun and take care.